um, we've seen a number of lawsuits in the web data space. How do you mitigate the risk uh, when dealing with data today? You're an expert in that. Yeah, this is a great question. So there really are a, a very large number of lawsuits. I'm sure you're all aware. Um, so Sequentum, uh, you know, started with the finance industry, right? We brought our the Sequentum operating guidelines to the Alt Data Council, and we um, worked for several years with the general counsels of various SEC government institutions, and we published the Web Data Collection Considerations. That's under the Financial Institution Standards Division, which is under SIA, which is a standards-making body in the software industry, and they have a lobbying arm in DC. Um, we uh, you know, worked closely with the SEC. I've actually been on panels with the SEC talking about the best way to work with web data. And I think in the finance industry, we're pretty aligned. Um, when ChatGPT came out, um, there was uh, you know, obviously a, a flurry of, of lawsuits um, in our space. And, um, and so you know, this has, uh, we, we've obviously, um, there's a big renewed effort to get regulation and regulators um, aligned, and so right now we're working with the Alliance uh, for Responsible Data Collection with OpenAI and Common Crawl and others, and we've been in DC and we've been lobbying and we're in the room where we're discussing controls on web data, um, how to protect copyright, you know, how to potentially enhance copyright laws to protect creators um, and, you know, the folks that are really um, struggling with the amount of web data that's going into LLMs, reproducing their creative works very much in their style and tone um, and not sharing any value with them. Um, but we're in the room to make sure that they understand the mission critical use cases that will not get legislated away. Yep. For example, um, robots.txt, right? We've been in the room with the, with the guy that wrote the robots.txt protocol talking about how to enhance it to get AI controls and to signal um, you know, website preferences for the end use of that data. Um, how to record it, how to express it, um, you know, and of course we would just include all of that in, in the collection audit trails and everything else. Um, but uh, you know, we're very clear, we're, we're like the robots.txt um, only names a few different bots that are allowed to pull data and they're all crawlers. They're search engine crawlers. They're not scrapers, right? Scrapers, and they, and they often will forbid certain directories, like the search directory. If you're looking for a price, if you're looking for review data, if you're looking for sentiment, you want, you want to follow the consumer, right, in a, in a post-cookie world, right? You've got, to, you've, you've got to do searches on these sites. You can't follow the robots.txt. And these are mission-critical use cases. I mean, we have over 20 government agencies that are fighting human trafficking and and all kinds of things. And the, the, the communication shows up in reviews and places you wouldn't expect, right? We can't follow robots.txt. The, the investment industry can't, can't follow robots.txt. For the most part, we, I think we have one customer that, that does, nobody else does. Um, terms and conditions, same problem. It's, you know, you could say with LLMs it's machine readable, it's not machine readable, it's a huge expense. Nobody's telling you when it changes. Um, you know, it's, it's just very problematic. The bot blocking that, that sites are doing is, you know, it doesn't really work. Um, nothing really works. So what we've been advocating, and I think we're gaining, um, you know, we're really gaining folks' ear, um, is to have a set of standards for responsible data collection that we all agree to, we align on, and we implement as a standard that can be attested to like SOC 2. Right, and so that's what we're proposing. That's what we're advocating. That's you know we've built our entire platform um, to support this, and um, you know so absent litigation, we're obviously way ahead of the law. Um, we are there are certain things that we will not do. We will not log in, right? That's accepting terms and conditions. We um, when there when there is some kind of a click wrap that forces you to accept the terms and conditions, we won't do that. Right. Um, if there's any personal data, right, we have to make sure that it's all handled with consent and in in line with CCPA and GDPR. Um, if there's copyrighted information, it has to be a transformative use case. Um, 
you know, et cetera, et cetera. So basically everything that's published in the web data collection considerations under FISD, we're following. And I think it, most, most folks in finance are following. Um, but these are concrete steps that you can take to mitigate risks. Um, and we're continuing to work on setting new standards to continue to chip away at the risk, risks that we do, that we are dealing with every day.